Hi, and welcome to another AlterEgos.com video. In today's video, we will be discussing auditing within AppSense's Environment Manager. The auditing option is used to define the rules for the capture of auditing information and the location for storing the local event log. It also displays the events for which data is collected, which can be selected for inclusion in the local log. The audit option is accessible from the home ribbon. The events available are context sensitive dependent on whether policy configuration or user personalization is selected. In enterprise installations, events can be forwarded to the AppSense Management Center via the client communication agent. When using this method for auditing, event data storage and filtering is configured through the AppSense Management Console. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the Environment Manager Console. Once you're there, we're going to want to go to the top ribbon and select Tools. Then from the Tools tab, we will select Auditing. As you can see here, you're going to have many options. You're going to want to use the radio buttons to define the required audit settings. Under the Control General Auditing Behavior, you will notice there are several radio buttons. Send events to the application event log and send events to the AppSense event log. They are defined as being able to select whether to save the event and associated application data to the application or AppSense event log. In the application log, it would be under the Event Viewer Windows Log application. Under the AppSense event log, it would be under Event Viewer, Applications and Services Log, AppSense. A thing to note here is that you can select either one or the other, but not both. As an example, I can select yes for the application event log, but the minute that I try to select the AppSense event log as well, notice what happens. Immediately switches back. Make events anonymous. Anonymous logging searches the file path for any instances where a directory matches the username and replaces the directory name with the string username. With this option set to yes, the computer and usernames are not recorded for logged events. Send events to the local file log. This writes the events to a local file in either CSV or XML format. Click the ellipsis to select the location for the file. The default location is system drive absence logs backslash auditing backslash environment manager event underscore computer name dot XML or dot CSV local log file format. This will give you the ability to select whether the local file log is in XML or CSV format. Towards the bottom of the policy configuration window, you will notice a window with four fields, ID, name, description, and log locally. This is an extensive list that gives you the name and the description of the particular things that you want to audit. To the far right of this box, which is known as the local event filter, you will notice the log locally field. You will want to check any of the events and IDs that you wish to audit. When you check one of these, you will notice that the entire row will become bold. This lets you know that you have now selected this particular item to be logged. You will also notice a hyperlink toggle selected. You can click on this to change the state between selected and cleared. Once you have selected all of the IDs or auditing options that you wish to enable, simply click OK to save the settings. And that concludes this video on how to use auditing in the Environment Manager console. Thank you and have a great day.